What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got a brand new choke and the 12 gauge for my Franke. And we're gonna do what we do best, test it for a TSS turkey load and steel. So let's get right to it. But the choke is right here. This is the Code Black Snowplow, which my understanding of it is it's the Code Black Goose, but then you have the Strong Bond white powder coat, so you, better concealment in the snow. But it essentially is the goose from what I'm seeing. It does look pretty cool. But what we care about is how does it perform. So I got it for Benelli Beretta. So of course we're going to shoot my baby, which I almost hate taking my cold black duck out of here. And uh, I had a bunch of people asking me if I ever cleaned my ports. If Hawk zooms in here, you can see my answer is no. I've never seen it matter. You can see all that exhaust and residue. I do not clean my ports. I, I did for a while, and then I realized it hasn't changed the patterns in our testing, so I just don't do it. But that's all. That's all personal preference. I think that just looks cooler. And the amount of ducks and geese, geesers that this has gotten is. You shoot that one on okay, so you can see now with this in my gun, I am primed up to hunt in the snow. Just kidding. But you can see, I mean, it, she pops out right there on the old bottomlands camo. But all it is, like I said, it's pretty much the goose. You can see the difference here. Uh, we've went over that multiple times. Why? They control their pattern through how much it extends outside of the barrel. Now that's, the duck is like made for three inch shells. This is more towards three and a half, but it shoots three as well. Everyone has their preference. Enough about that. It looks cool, it's thundering. We're gonna get moving. Now the loads we're gonna shoot, I kind of lied. Uh, it's actually a steel and tungsten blend for waterfowl. Uh, we have right here, this is a really good load. I actually, I mean this Merc's Mercs geese and ducks. This is a three inch Migra. Uh, this is the steel tungsten stack. It's two and fives. Two shot steel, of course, and five shot TSS. Ounce and a quarter, 1450 feet per second. And then, of course, it's got their patented shot layer, uh, well, layered pellet placement process. Then we have something else that has not been seen before. Okay. This duct taped box contains a load that is 12 gauge, two and three quarter, ounce and five eighths, so a 20 gauge payload and 12 gauge, going 1127, very unique, of nines TSS, and this is brought to you by our boys down in West Virginia, Viper Ammunition. I have a box full of goodies that's gonna be on the channel shortly. We're doing our best, buddy, so just know we're doing our best. It's, it's been busy right now. So this will be a really fun test for the, the snow plow. And as you can see down there, we got a whole mallard ducky at 40. He's kind of pitched and landing in. I've been lazy, I haven't had time to brush hog the range. Then we got ourselves a turkey over there for this. So let's get right to it. Real quick, this is the first look at the Viper, okay? Uh, we said something about really liking the transparent hole. And as you can see here, we can see the breakup. Very cool, very cool. Can you see it on there? You can see the powder, the caps, everything you need. Also, he knows we like the red, white, and blue. And there it is. The old red, white, and blue turkey foot. That's pretty cool. That's a really cool design. But we're going to shoot the Migra first. Once again, two over fives, two steel, five TSS. Franke, uh, I know I got to aim a little low with this because this gun shoots high for me. And it's the same most of the time in moose is 20 gauge so let's shoot this real quick then we'll shoot this and we'll see if we can scribble before it's washed out right, okay so here we go migra's in snow plow franke affinity 3 12 gauge two steel over five tss let's shoot that ducky ducky now hopefully i hold low enough hopefully it performs pretty good without there being any snow out you ready yeah all right yeah, the snow may improve pellet density. That looks pretty good from here. 
Did you see the smoke that came out the snow? Blew snow out of it. We're doing this quick today because we got a storm rolling in. Now we're gonna shoot this beautiful concoction, Viper ammunition. It's like a 20 gauge payload though, and a two and three quarter 12 gauge, nine CSS. Let's see what we can do with the snowplow at 30 yards. That looks good. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish this test, but we'll run down there. We may not be able to sharpie it. Hi, yeah, yeah. So let's go see what it did real quick before it washes it away. All right, guys, we're gonna to have to redo this test with the sharpie. We do not have enough time. It's gonna, we're right on the edge of a storm. But as you can see here, the snow plow with the two over fives, I mean, you really don't have to sharpie these. Honestly, I love the duck. The code black duck is my favorite for waterfowl. And even after seeing this, it remains my favorite in that gun. Now, this, I mean, he's definitely dead. I mean, he's got six in his head, but the full pattern of it, I mean, it's not terrible by no means. Realistically, for what we hunt, this wouldn't be bad at 40 yards because most of our shots are 20 and under. But as Hawk rounds around, you can see there's a lot of shot, there's a lot of voids, but overall it's not terrible. But with that load, I was expecting it to condense a little bit better. But I mean, for us, if you shoot like us and it's 20 and under, this actually is not bad to see at 40 yards because it's, it's gonna condense and where we shoot, hell, it's gonna smoke them. I mean, this is not a terrible pattern by no means. It's just that cold black duck and that Franke is just lights out. Now I know I'm going over this kind of quick, but we're gonna jump over here. We don't have time to sharpie the TSS either. We'll have to redo this test when it's not deciding to rain out of nowhere. Okay, now the TSS with the Viper load, first time ever being on a YouTube channel, it's right here with the snow plow, it's lights out. Guys, the code black duck and code black goose, if you're looking for just one, Personally, or I should say just one pattern master, I would get the duck because it's lights out with turkey loads or waterfowl. But the snow plow here, I mean, look at this, guys. Yes, this is a 12 gauge, but it's a 20 gauge payload. I mean, look at this. The whole pattern is essentially right here. And then you do have some out here. There really is no flyers. Your, your total pattern is right there. I am a little left on my shot, but you put that on center. I mean, no turkey is gonna walk through that. That's absolutely filthy. And it's a good low recoil round if you're looking for something like that. Because as you guys know, with TSS, you don't really need the giant payloads you get in 12 gauges. If you got a youth or something and you want them to use a 12 gauge, this load may be the ticket. Because, guys, this is a waterfowl choke with this, just to reiterate that. I couldn't even matter, or I couldn't imagine a turkey choke. But, I mean, Jesus, that is, there is a ton of shots. I mean, just on the target right here, there is a ton, a ton of shots right there. Yeah, it's, it's almost perfect. I mean, really, this right here... This, this is excellent performance. Cause I mean, your whole pattern is literally. Okay, so side by side, you have the waterfowl performance. Once again, my Franke, I just really think it really likes that duck over the goose or the snow plow. But for me, we, we don't shoot over 30 yards. So at 40 yards, I mean, yes, this is more open than most, but this is all gonna condense as we get into what we shoot. So really, not a bad option. Not great, I'll stick with my duck. But the TSS turkey load performance was insane. I mean, guys, that is, that's lights out right there. And I'm, I'm happy that the first pattern on paper, granted, I wish I, I wish I could sharpie it, but you can kind of hear why. Now the wind's starting to pick up, so uh, she's, coming. she's coming quick, but the mullet's breezing. All right, that's lights out. That's okay. Maybe it's a better turkey choke, but we will put a lot more 
through that snow plow by the time we're done with it, as Moose referred to off camera, it's gonna look like a smoked snowstorm on that thing. We're gonna get her dirty. We're gonna fire a lot of loads through it. See if we can find something that's really good in it. Maybe it likes just straight twos. We don't know. We don't know enough yet. But I'll tell you right now, that turkey load is lethal. I can't wait to put that through more turkey chokes and vice versa. But we're about to get stormed on. I'm asking you guys to help share these videos, share them via text, share them during, through social media, like and comment. It helps more than you guys realize. Our YouTube recommendations has dropped 78% from the turkey pattern series. So people are just flat out not seeing our videos. And that's why I kind of postponed the Montana decoy giveaway because 20% of our subscribers saw the video. I, when we do giveaways, we want everyone who helps us on the channel to have a chance. 20% is not good enough for me. So I'm going to try to wait on that and make sure everyone sees it. Please share the videos. This testing is not cheap. Every, every view, as we grow, it just helps us be able to bring better content to the channel. This is Jake Sleesman, Blue Cowder Outdoors. It's raining, so we got to get the camera protected. Oh, we had a lot of... I just can't ever shoot my Beretta. Can't ever shoot it. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Hope you're having a good day. Take it easy.